Broward School Board voted Tuesday to close down two charter schools in Fort Lauderdale, citing poor academics, adding the schools failed to document how they spent more than $800,000 in taxpayer money. The two schools on the chopping block, the Obama Academy for Boys and the Red Shoe Charter School for Girls. We know the claims are exaggerated, said Corey Allison, founder of both schools who served more than 250 students in kindergarten through eighth grade. The district attempted to shut down the charter schools this March after the schools relocated and failed to secure a required certification of occupation. Officials allowed them to remain open after the schools appealed the decision and submitted the necessary paperwork. The community should be outraged, said school board member Rosalind Osgood. For nine months, we've just given away free money to people who are not following any rules. They keep coming up with excuses. Charter schools are funded by public dollars but are independently operated by individuals, companies, or cities. Each school is governed by a volunteer board and operates under a contract known as a charter with the local public school district. In the termination notice sent to the school district last week, district officials said the school failed to provide service for students with special needs and students who are not native English speakers. They also cited the school for not providing an adequate reading program and poor record keeping. The schools have 90 days to appeal the termination or close down. For SunSentinel.com, I'm McKean Brunson.